this fog is the perfect weather for us to check out the real house that inspired Disney's Haunted Mansion. It's perfect. This is gonna be great. Let's go do this. Now, when I say the inspiration for the Haunted Mansion, I'm talking about the look the facade, the outside of the building, because as you know, Disneyland has a Haunted Mansion, and that was the original one, and it was actually located in New Orleans Square, but when they were building Disney World, they were looking for something because it was getting placed in Liberty Square, so they wanted a mansion with more of a Victorian look to it, and that's when the Imagineers came across this beautiful mansion and decided that's what it's gonna look like. Before we get to the mansion, actually, I wanted to show off a little bit of this beautiful town, Jim Thorpe. Look at it. The buildings are so just awesome. I love the clock tower. I love the old bricky looking kind of streets. This is pretty amazing, actually. What a cute, awesome town. I also wanted to give you guys a little more information about the mansion which is actually right behind me and we're gonna get to that but a little backstory is always good so anywho's Asia Packer who was one of the richest mans back in 1860 he was heavily into the railroad his son recently got married and wanted to build a mansion next to his house and his son's name was Harry Packer so the mansion that was based off the haunted mansion uh, is actually called the Harry Parker Mansion, kind of confusing, Harry Potter, Parker, but his father bought it for him and they're kind of right next to each other. So not only are we gonna check out one awesome mansion, but we're also gonna see another awesome mansion. So the plan is to head right over to Harry's mansion and then come back and check out Asia Packer Mansion. But Harry Packer's mansion is the one that was based off, well, that Disney World based its haunted mansions looks after. So I wanna check that one out first and then come back and definitely check out this one because look at that, amazing. Oh wow, look at this little pathway. These cool benches, oh, there it is. You guys ready? There it is, the Harry Packer Mansion. Look at that. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Wow, let's get up there. Let's go look a little more. Wow, this is like blowing my mind right now. The Harry Packer Mansion, and it's actually a bed and breakfast inn, so you can come here and stay in this mansion. Look at the stairway. It's roped off though with a chain, so I can't go up there. And that's a little chained off up there, but we're gonna see if anybody's home. That's kind of nifty and cool. Look at the cool windows though. And the doorknob. Look at the nifty stained glass. I always like stained glass windows. I walked around front because I want to see it from the front side. And wow, it is magnificent. I really want to get up on that porch though. Honestly, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, I see a lot of similarities, but I mean, it's still just a gorgeous, gorgeous house. 
And like I said before, Harry Packer Mansion is also a bed and breakfast inn and they do murder mystery weekends. That is pretty awesome. So you can look them up, uh, murdermansion.com and uh, check out all the cool nifty activities that they do here. Going up behind the house because I think this is the way you check in if you were staying here. Oh, they have a libations lounge. But it looks like it's closed. Oh, shucks. Oh man, and I missed the self-guided tours. Saturday and Sunday, one to four only. Man, they just can't get enough of it. I'm like circling around the building, finding ways to get in. You can go actually inside the house. I did call and they did tell me they did not like filming inside the house. So that's why I'm not gonna film inside the house. But you can stay here, it's a bed and breakfast. You can do a self-guided tour, lots of great stuff. They even have a little park right next door, right across the street. Just cross the street. And look how pretty this is. Oh, the bells are ringing. It's like their garden. Or like if you were walking through the graveyard scene. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so beautiful here. That's it. I want to live here now. Yep. My goal is to buy that house one day. I would live here and come sit out in my garden out front and just take in all the beauty surrounding me. Unbelievable, isn't it? Check out that shot right there, the house sitting on the hill. I'm loving this. I am like loving this. That is beautiful right there. Oh man. I see what Disney or the Imagineers saw in this place. It is pretty amazing here. You're so beautiful to me. What do you guys think? Would you stay here? That I would stay here. They said the room rates are about $150 to $375 a night. I mean, that's pretty good for a bed and breakfast and to stay in something so historical. Like, it's totally worth it. I mean, I don't have money right now, but I would stay. Trust me, and it's on my bucket list now. I'm coming back here. I am spending a night in that house. It is gonna happen. But until then, my sweet, sweet home away from home, we're gonna go check out Big Daddy's house. The bells from the church is really making it 20 times better being here right now. I hope you can hear them. I love it. This equally is another beautiful mansion. Can you imagine sitting on that porch and just looking out at that view? Wow, legit, view his life from his home. Wow. Ooh, something also really awesome that I just discovered back here. This house was also a part of the Underground Railroad. That is pretty amazing. They have doors that was leading underneath this mountain. Like as an escape goat. I gotta show you. Look at that. What is behind those doors? Amazing. So, love the life you live, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Just one last look. Amazing. Got a long walk down the hill here. <laughs> oh boy, there's a car coming. Oh, I shouldn't be walking backwards. Oh.